Fourth generation techniques. Uh, they are basically the broad array of software tools uh, where each software engineer specifies some characteristics of uh, the software at high level. Uh, the tool uh, then automatically generate a source code based upon the developer's specification. So what's it? Uh, let us see here. Uh, 4G techniques. In short, we called it 4G. Okay. So it basically works upon the 4G languages. 4G languages are the non-procedural languages. We have seen the 1G language. 2G language okay and 3G language that is C, C++ and other languages so in, in the same way 4G language is there so okay 4G language is non-procedural language okay they don't need any compiler to compile okay and then 5G language 5G language or uh, like we talk to the Google assistant uh, and speak and they are more AI oriented and machine learning oriented so now uh, let's take an example uh, we are familiar with the SQL, okay, SQL database. So in the SQL, we have seen a statement like select e closure from the dim employee as or e order by the last name. So this statement is not a part of programming language at all, and this is just a statement. Oh, it's, it's more native to the human language, okay. So basically, there are some tools in the database which understand this language and convert this language into the most desired language and then retrieve the result for us okay so that simply means uh, the database drivers use those statements and give us the results okay so this statement is uh, clearly seen that this is a non procedural language okay non procedural statement and in, in the same way uh, 4g techniques of 4g language use the same scenario where we have to write certain characteristics certain specifications okay like let's suppose if we want to um, make an software uh, which calculates or uh, which, which give you the bmi body mass index so we simply write the things like uh, give the body mass index and all such things we specify those characteristics either by uh, you know interacting with the interface or just uh, giving the inputs and all those things so tool uh, automatically behind the scene will generate uh, the code and that very code will work so we don't need to, uh, to do the lot of manual code okay so those tools were used in 4g techniques so here you can see that um, basically it includes a variety of tools so those tools are used for the report generation, data manipulation, screen interaction and uh, definitions, spreadsheet capabilities like in the spreadsheet if we write uh, you know things and at the end uh, with any formula it gives us the total percentage uh, average and all those things but if we have to custom certain things so we simply you know use those tools but behind the scenes basically the code is generated okay so in the same way screen interactions like while working upon any you know studio any ide you know, where we write the code so there are predefined uh, elements given there to select the icons and all those things um, here we can see that the best example would be uh, the google app maker so it's not a 4g techniques itself but it uses the 4g technique tools to create the app okay so uh, these services use basically the 4G technique. Fix is best for building the websites. And now you have seen that the best example is, uh, for the 4G tool is that uh, you know GraphQL code generator. So it will generate the code according to your graphs. And a lot of time you might have seen that uh, while uh, you know uh, you dragging or building the button on in, in an android studio so automatically a code is generated in behind so that is the code for this button so you don't need to write it manually so thank you